McLovin was involved in a tragic accident yesterday, and uh, it's pretty amazing that uh, he was able to make it to work today. Um, our thoughts and prayers were with you yesterday when we saw the photo, and mm -hmm. uh, you were hit by a bicyclist. I was. Yes. Um, who was at fault? The bicyclist. The it was. Yes, because he was going the wrong way on a one-way street. Okay. Could you describe your injuries in great detail for this audience so they know how, how hurt you are today? So I'm not sure exactly what happened here. I, my elbow got hurt, my knee got hurt, but the main problem was I almost bit through my lip, and I don't quite know how it happened. So the inside of my mouth is all did you Did you survive the ground? Uh, no. Everything went flying, <laughs> but he went flying too. So there was a witness who was concerned about both of us, but then started chewing out the biker. And I was like, ah, it doesn't matter. Let what did go. they say? They're like, you're going the wrong way. You're going to hurt somebody. The problem with the biker is he was hugging right along the cars. So he couldn't see. He had no, mm. I don't know. Who, but this happens. You're in New York, Dan. The bikers hate cars. Cars hate bikers. And both of them hate pedestrians. It's a constant war on the streets of New York. Well, occasionally you get these guys who are delivering food, and they're trying to get there as quick as possible. Right. And you're just collateral damage. You know, they'll be like Zoom. Because when you're in New York, and I always tell people, you know, you got to know where to look for the oncoming traffic. Because there are times when you can go to the next block and you're looking the wrong way. And it could be disastrous there. But the bicyclist? Like, you should at least, like, like we should be on the same you know, page here, uh, the cyclist and, and the pedestrians. And you're not, and that's where it gets dangerous. Yes, yeah, Because cyclists are anarchists. They follow no rules. Um, Andrew, were you in a crosswalk? No, because my neighborhood does not have crosswalks, although they should. Part of it is there's some streets that need crosswalks, and they don't have them, which what? you've seen in New York, too. That's like New York stinks when it comes to – they have a major pedestrian problem in New York. Thank you, McLovin. <laughs> it's true, though. They really do. Was there a bike lane? Oh, no. That would have been nice. Well, they, yeah, they normally have those bike lanes. Yeah, not here. It's a tricky intersection. Um, you know, I, I should have been more careful, too. I should have had my head on a swivel when I'm walking in New York. But it was a nice summer night. You're in Brooklyn. No. Yeah, I'm pulling. How does it work, uh, McLovin, after the incident? How many apologies did he give you? Did he give you multiple apologies? One, did he? how much did he check to make sure you're okay before? Oh, uh, he fell too. So Right, but he, he's at fault, so he, he he gets what he you know got. But, like, if you were injured, he would have to pay for it, right? I guess so. I, I, don't, I didn't even explore it because he was hurt, and I got up a little quicker. Well, we're glad you're here today. Well, I mean, warrior. But I, so I put it out on Twitter, and, man, I got killed, <laughs> ironically. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I mean, you got hurt, and you showed up today. Yes, Fritzy. Now, do you exchange insurance information? Do you put something in his spokes? Do he hand uh, something to you while you're laying there with a bloody elbow? How does that work? Yeah. If, you know, if, if, if there was something that required some type of a hospital stay or money or something that had to be covered. Uh, I have someone said, did you get his tags? I'm like, what? Bikes have tags? I didn't even know that. Mm. Yeah, see. Did the uh, bicyclist think it was his fault, Andrew? Yes, I think he did. Or oh, he so he didn't try to blame it on you. No, 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 no. He oh, didn't. that's good. Yeah, but it not it wasn't a serious injury. Like we're being talking cheap. People really do get hurt this way. So I feel like let's not make fun of them. Yes, Paul. I was wondering if McLovin's temper would show because the last time he was run over was at the uh, the party in 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 Minnesota oh. when, when A Rod and J Lo's uh, security team ran over McLovin and I, yeah. and McLovin a little more so than me, but McLovin was squaring up to pop somebody. And if those guys were there for about five more seconds, he would have taken a swing at somebody. Well, they were really unprofessional. I and mean, it had nothing to do with A-Rod. It was the guys around A-Rod were sort of kind of breaking the law. I don't know why. But they, I'm sure, here's the thing. People will always get what they deserve eventually. I'm sure all those A-Rod guys are having horrible <laughs> lives. This biker is going to hit something bigger than me soon enough. No, so There's no reason for me to be mad at him. Little hashtag karma there. I think so. All right. Well, we're glad that you're uh, you're alive and you're safe. We appreciate that. Yeah, for now, would that be karma or bikema in that situation? Huh? Like C A R karma. Yeah, C A R karma. Okay. Right. Oh, it's like your Belgium joke the other day. It took me a second. Yeah. <laughs> for more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Dan Patrick Show app.